Today, a police chase ended in injuries and two innocent bystanders taken to the hospital, one of them a toddler. It happened on Michigan Avenue in Mobile. We spoke with a witness who described the chaos. This is crazy. A viewer video captured moments after today's horrific crash shows a woman on the ground injured. We've blurred her image. Witnesses say a suspect in this Corvette hit her Honda Accord as he flew down Michigan Avenue going 100 miles per hour. A state trooper was chasing him. When he hit her, she spent and she came, she got ejected out the back window and the car landed on top of her. The extent of her injuries or her toddlers who was in the back seat are unknown tonight. Far too often chases in with innocent bystanders hurt or even killed. Last year in Baldwin County, a wrong way chase on I-10 ended in a ball of fire after the suspect's vehicle slammed into a total stranger's. In June, Megan Brunson, her mother Wanda, and her five-year-old little girl Ava all died when a suspect Thomasville police were chasing crashed into them head on. It is inherently extremely dangerous. Spanish Fort Police Chief John Barber, whose department was not involved in any of these chases, told NBC 15 News this summer what factors are considered in a pursuit, like if it's in a neighborhood, the time of day, and weather conditions. On top of that, he says a supervisor monitors what's happening in real time to evaluate this basic question. Is the apprehension necessary to outweigh the risk of danger to the public? We still know very little about the circumstances behind today's chase, like what prompted troopers to chase the suspect, or even who was being chased. Witnesses tell us the suspect was tased and taken into custody shortly after the wreck. Oh, the number of people dying in police pursuits has been on the rise for decades. At least 416 people were killed in police chases in 2017. That's according to an analysis of federal crash records by the group Fair Warning. The highest death toll was in 2007 with 424 deaths.